So I was entertaining the idea of doing Naraman's YouTube survey when I was faced with the first question and I couldn't help but think that this is gonna be the most depressing video ever. You see, my early interactions with the opposite sex could be basically described as a series of endless fail. In fact, when it came to anything even remotely romantic, for me failure was a way of life. I was basically stacking fails on top of other fails and constructing a fail mountain. In addition to being a prominent failure, I was also a professional late bloomer. And at some point I started noticing all the students around school pairing up and holding hands and I couldn't help but wonder why wasn't anyone holding my hand? What was wrong with me? And it wasn't too long until I started having thoughts like this. Enter Lisa. Now Lisa was one of the more popular girls in school and for some weird reason she liked talking to me. In fact we used to stay up late at night having these really silly telephone conversations that would go a little something like this. Oh my gosh, my nails are so long, I think I'm gonna have to cut them. Girl, you know your nails are perfect. And my hair is such a mess, I don't know what to do with it. Girl, you know your hair is perfect. Scruffles is sick, I think we're gonna have to put them down. Perfect. When on one of those nights, Lisa hit me with this. How do you feel about going to check out a movie this Friday? What? There's this new movie called Con Air coming out. It's about prisoners in the sky. Wait, 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 wait. You wanna go watch a movie with me about prisoners in the sky? This sounds like a win already. And for some weird reason, the second I put down that phone, I transformed into Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible 1. The plan was simple. Step 1. Go watch Kanye with Lisa. Step 2. While watching Kanye with Lisa, reach out, grab her hand, and lose that HV card. Step 3. Well, this one would require a little reconnaissance work. So the day before the big night, I went to go case the joint and they were just handing out the blueprints. And as with all plotting, my plan slowly started to take form. We start out in the cinema, you know, just watching Nicolas Cage do his thing. When POW! I'd pop my hand holding Cherry. Then we'd head off to the bookstore, pick up some Archie comics and let Lisa know that this brother right here reads. And the grand finale of this glorious evening would be, yes, you guessed it, ice cream. What? This date would be a celebration of youth, smiles, and all things unicorn. The big night was nearly upon us. 